Mouse, no one ever was. To catch them all is my request. To trade them is my cost. Sophia, Pokemon Sophia, are you playing with your Pokemon cards again? I swear, you are the worst Pokemon zombie I have ever met. Pokemon, gotta catch him! Oh, oh. Hmm. I wanna be the only way that I know of to get rid of a Pokemon zombie is to hit it in the brain with a super effective economics lesson! Economics with Daddy and Sophie Puppet Economics Learning about dollars and money and banking Incentives and government schemes. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon, gotta catch him. Uh, uh. uh Sophia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, you got some uh, Pokemon cards there, huh? Yes. Uh, gotta uh, catch them all. Yes. So, uh, which of those cards would you say is the uh, most rare and valuable to you? Oh, that's easy. I have a super duper ultra rare shiny legendary Deluxe EX Psychic Dagger! Ah! Dagger! I killed you! Yeah! Dagger! Uh, yeah. So, uh, okay. now I assume that that, that the Dagger card is a rare and highly valued card, uh, yes? Yeah, there are only three super duper ultra rare shiny legendary deluxe EX psychic dagger cards. Oh, all, right, all right, all right, all right. I, I heard you, I heard you. Dad. Only three were ever printed, and as this world is too small to hold the awesome power of those super duper ultra rare shiny. Uh, all right, all right, all right. That's enough, that's enough. I, I get your point, I get your point. All right, so only three ever printed, huh? Yep. Now, if you were to place a dollar value on that there card, uh, what would it be? You know, uh, how much would it take for me to uh, purchase that card from you? Mm. You remember that trillion dollar coin you told me about last week? Ten of those! The trillion dollar coin? You, you, you do remember that those don't actually exist, right? Exactly! I would have been... Okay, 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 I get your point, I get your point. It's really, really valuable. Now, what if I were to tell you that even if you locked your Pokemon card away in the most secure bank in the world, I could take this thing that has such great value and steal it from you without even having to step foot in the bank. <gasps> Impossible! My bank would be the safest and I would place level 600 Charizards all around the perimeter. No, 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 that wouldn't even matter. The value that you place on this rare card can be taken <gasps> from you without you even losing possession of it. So, I would have the card, but you could steal it from me? You stated that the value of this card exceeds ten trillion dollars. Yep. If this is true, then at any moment, you could exchange that card for ten trillion dollars and buy whatever you wanted to with that money. That is the value of this card and the value that you would keep locked in the bank. That is the value that I can take from you without ever even picking a lock. <gasps> No, it can't be true. Tell me how you would do it. I have to save my Pokemon! Well, you don't seem that interested. Uh, why don't you just go play with your card and play in your little game? Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! Well, if, if you really want to know... I do! I do! I do! Okay, 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 okay. Let's begin. Now, why is your super dutra, ultra, shiny, whatever, whoop de whoop thing so valuable anyway? Because it's super duper, ultra, rare, shiny... Ah, uh, that's it! What do you mean? You said it yourself. It's ultra rare. Only three mid in the whole world. Yes, that's right. That's why you could exchange it for such a high value. There's so few of them that other people who want the card would have to offer a great deal in exchange. Of course I would turn them all down. Well, of course, of course. Now, what would happen if the Pokemon company decided that your super duper card was so totally awesome they wanted to have everyone in the world have a chance to play with it. So, they decided 
to print a whole bunch of them and distribute them all around the world. <gasps> now everyone has a super duper shiny whoop de whoop Dargor. You left it ultra rare. I know, it wouldn't be ultra rare anymore. <laughs> That's right, because so many people would have it as well. You could try to trade it away for trillions of dollars, but since everybody else has it, no one would want to trade, even for a, a Magikarp. Not even a Magikarp? No, no. So you see, Sophia, that card that you had locked away in your super duper safe bank surrounded by level whatever Charizards I goes from I... a value of $10 trillion to 10 cents without even it leaving your vault. Thus, the value of your treasure is taken from you no differently than a thief in the night. But how could they do that? Why would they want to print more cards? I mean, it's just terrible. Well, they may want to give more of the first printing of the cards out to some high-level collectors or competition winners or whatnot. And when they first start handing out the cards, they're still quite rare and highly valued, so these privileged few who first receive the cards get a great benefit. But once those cards get traded and distributed among all the different Pokemon buffs everywhere, people like you who have saved and kept your rare Pokemon cards in pristine condition are hung out to dry because now your rare card isn't rare at all. I see. Now, the thing to remember is that if something has an exchange value to people, like your Pokemon cards or even dollar bills, if you dramatically increase the supply of those items by printing or other means, the value of those items will drop. Now, in the case of your Pokemon card, you won't be able to get as much in exchange for it, but in the case of the dollar, you'll have to use more of them to purchase things as their value drops. Wow, I never thought Pokemon could be so educational. <laughs> if you think that's boring, consider this. What we've been talking about is actually happening with the dollar. You see, my favorite Pokemon card is the dollar. But I keep mine locked away in a bank, just like you. But the people that issued my dollar, that would be Congress and the Federal Reserve, have decided to print a whole lot more of them. And as a result, the things that I used to buy now cost many more dollars to purchase than they used to. They're stealing the value of my dollars, just like they stole the value of your Pokemon. She's asleep. Good night, Sophia. Thanks for listening. Remind me to tell you the story of the two burritos tomorrow. Um, nom, 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 nom. Burritos. Um, nom, nom, nom.